What's up, YouTubers? Tonight I have something, I guess, rare and hard to find because I didn't even know they existed until I was on eBay the other day and found these. They are Craft Singles Superstars from 1993 through 1995. They're box sets by uh, League. We've got the 1993 American League set. I didn't get the National League set in this lot that I paid uh, about the price of two packages of Craft Singles, so didn't pay too much for these at all. 94, we've got the National and American League, and then 95, we've got the National and American League, and each box says that uh, they have pop-up action baseball player cards. There was uh, some pictures on the back of the cards. I tried not to pay too much attention to those because I want uh, the reveal to be as fresh for you as it is for me on my end. Obviously, like I said, I've never seen these before on uh, the open market. Um, probably not highly collectible, but I love opening stuff I've never seen before, and I hope you do too. So let's get right into this. We're going to start uh, further back in time and move forward. So we'll start with the 93 American League set, and we will see what we get inside. So there's no flaps. That's what she said. Oh, uh, let's see what we get here. Oh, I missed a card there. And then it looks like... There is some kind of order form for more cheese and instructions on how to pop up your card here. Let's see what we got. All right, there is no distributor here because I can tell right off the bat that the Robbie Alomar is missing all his logos. So, and that is card number two of 30. Jim Abbott number one of 30 was in the back there. So there is Jim Abbott of the California Angels. Robbie Alomar, his brother Sandy Alomar with the Indians, George Brett, one of my favorite players from the 80s, Roger Clemens, Eckersley, this big old Cecil Fielder, the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., Don Mattingly, pre-steroid Mark McGuire in his 220-pound days, Kirby Puckett, I was just watching his exploits in the 91 World Series on YouTube earlier today, Cal Ripken Jr., Nolan Ryan, Robbie Ventura, and Robin Yount. So, good mix of stars and Hall of Famers there. Let's uh, find a crappy player and go ahead and bust this card up and make it do its effect. It says to pull, so I'm going to pull and see what happens here. And nothing's happening, so let's confer with our instructions. Bentley Ben card to pop up player's head. Nothing's popping up. It kind of popped up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Boom. And then we've got uh, tips for playing catcher. We've got statistics hidden inside. And now Sandy Alomar is ready to face whatever pitcher dares throw him a strike. All right, so that was the 1993 American League set. Cool looking. Obviously, they got the design idea from the... Donner's pop-ups from the mid to late 80s. And now let's go, and this has definitely never been opened before. This is the 1994 National League set. There's flaps on that one. Obviously, we're looking very similar design here. Set that back there. And we've got Jeff Bagwell, 1994 edition. Barry Bonds. That is obviously a reverse negative because we know Barry bats left-handed. And right there he is showing batting right-handed. Bobby Bowe with the New York Mets, and they're still paying his salary. Delano DeShields. Nails. Lenny Dykstra. Stay out of trouble, Lenny. Andres Galarraga, the big cat. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, 300 wins. Mark Grace, banging the road beef. I always love that story. Tony Gwynn, 3,000 hit club. Rest in peace, Dave Justice, Barry Larkin, that card looks weird, he's looking at a pitch that's right in front of his eyes, Mike Piazza, Gary Sheffield, 500 home run club, still not in the Hall of Fame, Ozzie Smith with his blank, blank black hat, and Andy Van Slick finishing it off there, so very interesting Barry Bonds card, reverse negative photo there, so that was the 1994 National League set. Let's do the American. Everybody knows craft singles are only good for one thing, and that's making grilled cheese. You make a sandwich with a craft single, and it instantly is crap. All right.
that said, oh no, this is the American League, I'm sorry. They look different than the National League cards. So I was a little confused there for a second. This was the National League, that's the American League. doesn't even have the same design. But anyway, we've got Mo Vaughn with the Boston Red Sox, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer, Greg Vaughn, the Brewers, Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt, Danny Tartable with the Yankees, Cal Ripken Jr., Kirby, Paul Molitor, 3,000 hit club, Brian McCray with the double ear flat batting helmet, always made you look funny, Mark Langston with the Angels, Craig Effie Jr., Juan Gonzalez, steroid master, big old Cecil, Eckersley again, and Carlos Bayerga, who had two good years and then dried up faster than rain and 100 degree heat here in Arkansas. All right, let's move on to 1995. We're going to move Sandy over here to the outskirts of the video. We'll do the National League first. These ones are uh, all over the place, it looks like in the box there, and they are not falling out. Printed in the USA. That's always good to know. Come out of there. There it goes. All right. We've got Moises, Moise Talet Alou. He's got a flap right in the middle of the card there. Is that how all the cards are going to look there? Jeff Bagwell. Barry Bonds batting left-handed. Jeff Conine with the Marlins. Lenny Dykstra again. Galarraga. Tony Gwynn. There's our instructions. For idiots like me that don't know how to make their pop-up card pop up. Greg Jeffries. Barry Larkin. Or Larry Barkin, as a guy I called him on another pack break video. I started laughing. Greg Maddox. Mike Pizza. Brett Saberhagen. Ozzy Smith. Sammy Sosa. Look at the lines in the side. Very 90s. And Matt Williams. So... Maybe I should pop one of those up and see how they look. You see how the cards definitely are thicker down here. So that was the 1995 National League set. Now the 95 American League set. They're so packed in there. Doesn't want to come out. Robbie Alomar. Joe Carter. Cecil again. Juan Gonzalez. Griffey Jr. Jimmy Key to success, Chalk Knobloch, Instructions, Kenny Lofton, good leadoff guy for the Indians for a bunch of years, Mucina, Hall of Famer, Paul O'Neill, my uh, dentist, my orthodontist when I was in uh, the mid-90s, early 90s, looked like Paul O'Neill, Kirby Puckett, Cal Ripken Jr., Pudge Rodriguez, Frank Thomas, and Mo Vaughn. So let's find a scrub to pop up here. Let's do... Uh, Chuck Knobloch. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It's got a, a hidden thing inside there. I guess it sits just like that. Looks like a little like uh, Star Cruiser on Star Wars there. But there was a little hidden little hidden knoblock inside there. And we got stats there on the back. A little bio. Pretty cool. That's the 93, that's the 95. Let's do one of the 94s. Let's find a scrub to pop up here. Greg Vaughn's looking like the winner so far. Nope. And then Brian McCray came and stole the day as the scrub in the box. Oh, he didn't pop up. I just bent it. Oh, I was even I was looking at the backs of the cards. The pop-ups were on the back. I was looking at the backs of the cards. I'm an idiot. I wonder the they look different because I was looking at the fronts and the backs. <laughs> well, no outtakes on this one. I'm just an idiot. So anyway, there you go. We've got pop-ups from Craft 93 through 1995. Let me know if you guys ever seen these before. I picked these up, like I said, for about six bucks, about the price of uh, two jumbo packs of Craft singles because those are so delicious. I gotta say, of the design, these are pretty, uh, pretty interesting. The 1995s are really cool, with the hidden player inside there, like Chuck Knobloch just popped up out of nowhere. So these are pretty neat.
nice little addition to my player cards collection, whatever I'm trying to say here. So let me know if you guys like the video, if you've seen these cards before, and uh, we will see you next time.